Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycle with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today we are gonna be making three dimensional playgrounds out of paper. What you are gonna need is you are going to need three pieces of white paper or line notebook paper, markers, scissors, a glue stick, and if you want, these are optional supplies, tape and cardboard. I like to put a piece of cardboard underneath my playground just because it helps that paper stay a little bit better and I usually get it from a cereal box, but that's not needed. Tape is sometimes a little helpful because it bonds instantly, but you can do all of this with a glue stick. So boys and girls, what we're gonna be doing is taking the basic lines that you already know about, straight, zigzag, wavy, castle line, curly Q, spiral, mountain line, pyramid line, and we're gonna use these lines. We're gonna use our scissors or we're gonna be folding paper to be able to make those lines three-dimensional, to make them sculptural and put them in our playground. So for example, you can see the zigzag line is in this type of sculpture right here. And the wavy line is right here in my slide. Or I use castle line to make my ladder. Or I use the spiral to make the line that's going down from my parallel bars. So in this one, you can see I use the lines very differently. In this one, I used the zigzag fold to make stairs, or I used the same ladder or castle uh, cut to make parallel bars and monkey bars for my playground. And I even have a straight line here to make a little paraglider. So boys and girls, I hope you have fun with this project today. It is very similar to the treehouse project that's on Art Recycled, but this project requires less supplies and it's a little bit more simple. But if you like this one, you'll definitely like the treehouse project and vice versa. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, boys and girls, is I'm gonna draw lines like this on my sheet of paper, where you don't have to draw them exactly like this, but boys and girls, you wanna color one whole sheet of paper in its entirety, because when you build your playground with all white paper or notebook paper, this colored background helps your sculpture to stand out. And then I'm gonna use my Crayola markers to just color them in. All right, boys and girls, now that I have my background piece colored in, I'm gonna set it to the side and I'm gonna show you how to make some simple things out of paper for your playground. All right, boys and girls, so one sheet I colored, now I'm gonna take my second sheet, and again, it can be white paper, notebook paper, whatever you have, and I'm gonna fold this into thirds. Now, how do you fold it into thirds? Take it like a tube, roll it up, and when you kind of feel that the two ends of the paper kind of meet, then you're going to push it down and you should get something close to thirds. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut one of these sections off. All right, boys and girls, so one of the first things that I'm going to teach you is I'm gonna teach you how to make a tube. So I cut one of the sections off of that piece of paper and I'm just rolling it around. And now I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put a lot of glue on one side. I'm gonna roll the paper into a tube and I'm gonna hold that glue for a little while just to make sure it sticks. The next thing you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut slits at the bottom of the tube. I want the slits to be about the same distance apart. And then once you have them all cut, you're gonna fold Fold them up. Basically, these little slits at the bottom that you're going to fold up, you're going to put glue onto the bottom of. Now, I could try to hold this and do that, but that's actually really hard. So I'm just going to take my glue stick and smear it all over the paper. Remember, glue stick dries clear, so it doesn't matter if it sticks out. It's still going to not show up. All right, boys and girls, now that I have my tower on, I'm going to make the platform that goes on top. I'm just gonna cut another section of paper and cut it into a square. And then I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna try to get a lot of glue on the top of that tower. This is where having a little bit of tape might help to get that to stick on, but glue stick works just fine. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my ladder or my monkey bars by cutting a smaller rectangle, folding it in half. Make sure the fold is on the bottom, boys and girls, and from the bottom side, you're gonna cut long rectangles that don't go all the way through to the other side. When you get all the way across, you wanna open up the fold and what you should have is your ladder or your monkey bars. 
So this time I'm gonna make monkey bars. Last time I made a ladder, but this time I'm gonna make monkey bars. So I have to make basically some type of parallel bar for the monkey bars to sit on. So I'm gonna cut two long strips of paper and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the ends of each of the long strips of paper and I'm gonna put glue on each one of the ends and I'm gonna fold them kind of into rectangles like that. So I'm folding it again, as you can see in the middle. And then I'm going to stick them down about, you know, about the same width of part of it as the ladder. And I may have to measure boys and girls and kind of cut that ladder a little bit so that it fits on the right shape. So boys and girls, I know that I'm obviously going very fast. If you ever need to pause the video, just remember you can do that to kind of catch up. So as you can see, I'm just finishing my parallel bars here, and then I am going to take my monkey bars and glue them on top. I've got to trim them a little bit. The next two things I'm going to make is I'm going to make two kinds of slides. One is going to be a wavy slide, and one is going to be a spiral slide. So this first wavy slide, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my paper, which you'll see me do here in a second and I'm gonna cut one big long strip whoops there my platform just fell off and eh, it happens sometimes then you glue it back on um, so as I said I'm gonna cut one big long strip and then boys and girls I'm gonna take a lot of glue stick and I'm gonna put it to the end and then I'm gonna take a lot of glue stick and I'm also gonna put it to my uh, cardboard or my paper there this one you may need to hold for a second it's not gonna want to stay when you put it down at first so I kind of held it for about five to ten seconds just to kind of get it to stay and there we go there's my wavy slide so then for the spiral slide you're gonna need something circular you're gonna trace it with your marker and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a spiral line inside of that circle after you cut your circle out and which you'll see me do here in a second with the black marker. Once you draw that spiral line inside of that circle and make it kind of look like a lollipop, you are gonna cut on that spiral line, boys and girls. And as you're gonna see, that spiral is gonna unravel into your slide that goes round and round. So I'm gonna take the top end of that, I'm gonna glue it to my platform, and then I'm gonna stretch that and glue the bottom part of that to the bottom part of my cardboard. All right, moving along, boys and girls, here we go. The last three things we're gonna do, starting with number one, we are going to make stairs. So you're gonna cut another long strip of paper and you're gonna fold this forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. It's a pattern, boys and girls. It's the same fold you would make to make a fan and then space it out and you get a zigzag line. Take that zigzag line, you're gonna glue it to the top of your platform and then you're gonna flip it over, whoops, cause it's the wrong way. And then you're gonna glue the bottom part of it to your platform and now you have your stairs. The next thing we're going to make is a teeter-totter. So I'm going to cut another long strip of paper. And this is basically a straight line, boys and girls, just with the ends folded up. It's the board that sits on the top of the teeter-totter. And then I'm going to cut another strip of paper and I'm going to fold it into a triangle. That triangle part is the part underneath the board that the board kind of teeter-totters back and forth on. So as you can see, there's my triangle, glue it on, and then I'm going to glue my teeter-totter on. All right, boys and girls, I think that my platform is looking a little empty. If I'm gonna climb all the way up there, then I would probably want some type of shelter to go on top of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a thicker strip of paper and I'm gonna make a dome shelter, kind of that bumpy mountain line that you saw before. And so what I'm gonna do with my long strip, I'm gonna fold the ends, put glue on each end, and I'm gonna fold it into a half circle shape as a shelter on top of my platform. Boys and girls, a fun thing to do is to roll another tube and put it inside of that shelter for kids to crawl through. And then basically my project is done. <laughs> 